Welcome to the interview on France 24. Earlier this month, Greece took over the rotating presidency of the European Union from Lithuania. While some questioned the ability of the debt-ridden country to preside over Europe, Greek officials want to use this opportunity to repair their reputation and restore their country's credibility on the European scene. I'm joined here in Paris by Greece's Foreign Affairs Minister, Evangelos Venizelos. Welcome to the interview on France 24. Thank you very much for uh, your invitation. Now, Greece, after huge sacrifices, is able to say that it's leaving behind the crisis. I'm not saying this. That's what Greece's Prime Minister, Antoni Samaras, recently declared. Your government forecasts that the Greek economy will grow by 0.6% this year, but the OECD predicts another year of recession. So, who is right? <laughs> this is a very good question. After six years of recession, uh, now we are for the first time in the position to show toward our partners uh, the famous primary surplus of our budget. This is a very positive indication, not only for the fiscal adjustment, but also for the new situation of the Greek real economy. The critical uh, point, it's not only the fiscal situation, but also the volume of our economy and also the capacity of our society to organize the future after the crisis. It's very, very important to break this uh, endless discussion about our capacity, about our willingness, because now we have numbers to show. This primary surplus is uh, the first point toward the verification of the viability of our public debt and the verification of uh, the viability, the sustainability of the Greek public debt is the precondition for the organization of the next step toward the markets. Uh, what is the next step? Because you know the view of, of a number of economies. They say that despite this small surplus, Greece won't make it without a haircut. You disagree with this, but then uh, let me ask you, how will Greece manage to pay back its debt? I was uh, the Greek Minister of Finance during uh, this unique operation of the so-called PSI, the private sector involvement. The first uh, big, the biggest, historically speaking, haircut of uh, public debt, but of uh, the private part of this public debt. The public debt uh, held by private entities. The other phase of this very big and historical operation is the radical reconstruction of the Greek, the Greek public debt. Our debt, it's not only a ratio uh, with reference to our GDP, but uh, also a very concrete uh, um, relation between our possibility to pay the cost for the annual service and the reaction of the market. And can you we manage have now, without? Yes, can you manage of course, without because, because a new the Greek cut. public debt is a Greek debt with uh, a very friendly duration. We talk about uh, a public debt uh, for um, uh, 30 years. We have uh, an excellent average of interest rates. We have a very important uh, grace period. We have excellent maturities. And first of all, we have a very low now annual servicing cost of our debt. In terms of net present value, the Greek public debt is more sustainable than other debts in other countries of uh, our European Union. This is uh, the approach and the proposal, not of the Greek government, but uh, of Mr. Klaus Renglin, the leader, the managing director of uh, the European Stability Mechanism, who knows very well the situation and also the technical capability of our country to uh, verify and also to guarantee 
the viability of our and, debt. Uh, nevertheless, you, you recently declared that it poses a problem of democracy and legitimacy to have the IMF at the heart of the Eurozone as part of the Troika. This, Did you this, mean that? This is a problem. This but is a problem not only mean? for Greece. Do you it's mean a... that the plan, the bailout package, has been undemocratic? No, 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 not at all. We fully respect uh, our institutional partners, the European Union, the other member states of, uh, of the Eurozone, but uh, the participation of uh, the IMF uh, as institutional factor in the different European procedure is something uh, new. It's an it's it's indication uh, against uh, the capability of the European Commission to act uh, and also uh, the, the, the Troika not uh, as uh, interinstitutional uh, entity but uh, as political representative of uh, the European governments must present uh, some reports, not only before the government, but also before the parliament, because according to the rules, the, European the institutional parliament. rules of uh, our European parliamentarian tradition, uh, the parliament is uh, always uh, the ultimum uh, institution, uh, the, the institution with the necessary for the democratic checks, legitimacy. For the checks and balances, the, the European but, parliament. But, but we respect... Uh, we respect uh, our joint efforts with uh, the Troika, with uh, the principles of the Troika, because we talk now four years after the beginning of uh, our historical effort to overpass the crisis. Now we are in a totally different situation. Now, you recently uh, declared uh, to a German paper uh, that Germany should show more restraint, and I'm quoting, respect Europe's diversity and the right to other solutions. Is it the case that the, some Greek people feel that they've been sort of bullied by Germany? Uh, we have excellent bilateral relationships with uh, the German government, with uh, the German political system. We understand very well how important is the German leading role for the future of uh, Europe and uh, also for the European integration and the existence of uh, our uh, uh, monetary union. Uh, but uh, we must also take uh, into consideration uh, the social situation, the democratic problem. Uh, it's not possible for the new European generation to accept that uh, uh, Europe as a concept is only the austerity policy and uh, the unemployment. It's absolutely important to talk between political partners, not politically, always on the very concrete basis of the numbers, but uh, with uh, the necessary capability... And that's where Germany to, failed to, to, to show to, to take solidarity. Into consideration, uh, the, ...the other dimensions of the situation, the social dimension, the, the democratic dimension, and also the situation of the real economy, because the national economy, the European economy, it's not only the financial sector, we must take into consideration the so-called real economy, the enterprises, the real ordinary people. You mentioned the social cost of the crisis. It's no secret that uh, Syriza, uh, a uh, far-left party, and Golden Dawn, a neo-Nazi party, are, po are posed... This is, the, this is the political and historical cost of the crisis. But they're, they're expected to do very well at the upcoming European elections. How worried are you as the leader of PASOK, the Socialist Party? The European elections um, uh, everywhere, not only Greece, is uh, a secondary uh, uh, electoral procedure. Uh, we organize simultaneously not only the European elections, but also local and regional elections. But uh, without, without doubt, it's absolutely important uh, to, to convince the Greek public opinion, our electoral body, that uh, this unique national project uh, has a new chapter for the future. This is something very, very vital and important for us. And that's probably where the uh, Greek presidency of the European Union can help you, can help your government. Uh, we know that uh, growth and unemployment stand very high on your priorities list. What do you want to do about this? Growth, uh, uh, job creation, 
the restoration and the reestablishment of the social dimension of the European Union are some um, obvious pan-European uh, priorities. But concretely, for us. where can the Greek presidency make a difference? The Greek, we must make the distinction between the European priorities of the Greek presidencies and the national priorities of our government and also of our nation. Uh, for us, the European priorities is to present, uh, first of all, a new European narrative for the future, a common European narrative, more attractive. On, on, on the national level, uh, the obvious priorities is to organize the national life after the crisis. And the first step uh, is the finalization and the official verification of the fiscal adjustment and also of the sustainability of the public debt. But the real problem is to reorganize the so-called uh, national hope for the future. This is the most important point for us. You've uh, earmarked uh, 50 million euros for what's been called a Spartan presidency. Do you have the resources, the financial resources, to make this happen? Yes, of course. Uh, it's it's uh, our obligation to organize the presidency. On the other hand, uh, for uh, a country in crisis, it's uh, mandatory to organize the presidency um, with uh, a very practical and uh, result-oriented uh, manner. Evangelos Venizelos, thank you very much for talking to us. I remind our viewers that you are the Foreign thank Affairs you very much for your invitation. Minister of Greece. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this edition of the interview on France 24. Goodbye.